Hi guys, this is a tutorial for beginners in JavaFX. In this tutorial, we are going to cover three fundamental concepts or actions that you should be able to perform with a JavaFX application from the perspective of the user. The user needs to be able to input something. The user needs to be able to press a button to interact with the program. And finally, there needs to be some kind of output from the program to the user. And these are the three things we're going to cover today. I'm not going to go over how to set up JavaFX since there are different versions, but if you follow one of the tutorials given in the video description, you should be able to set it up in a way that works. And in particular, the API hasn't really changed, which means regardless of your version of JavaFX, you should still be able to follow this tutorial. First thing you need to be able to do is to extend a JavaFX application. This is how any JavaFX application is created. This is the boilerplate code, so it has to be pretty much in this form in any um, JavaFX application. So don't worry too much if you don't understand this um, at this point. The most important bit is for you to be able to run this. So if you can see a window at this point, then everything is ready for uh, continuing this, with this tutorial. If you don't see the window, then you should try and find something online that helps you with setting up JavaFX, like one of the um, links in the video description. Right, so what we're going to do is create a new scene. Again, I'm not going to talk about stages, um, scenes, and so on. Here in this tutorial, we're only interested in the three concepts that I mentioned earlier, which are um, in more detail text, text field, and a button. So in JavaFX, everything is contained in a scene graph, which is a data structure which contains some root container. So in this case, I've picked VBox, which stands for virtual box, uh, sorry, vertical box, which is a vertical layout container. So everything you put inside this root node um, is going to be contained in a vertical layout on the screen. Just to give you an idea, let's just put a few buttons. And then um, we might as well set the preferred size to something like 600 by 600. So we've got two buttons, you can't really see them. Let's call them hello one and hello two. The takeaway message here is that they're positioned um, vertically, one um, lower than the other. Right, so what we're going to do is create a text field, which is how the user can input something. We're going to create a text Make sure to import the um, JavaFX imports rather than something else like AWT. This is the text object that will contain some information to be shown to the user. And finally, we're going to have a button so that the user can interact. I'm going to call the button uh, Press. So in this particular order, uh, field, then button, and then text, we're going to have a very basic, uh, admittedly a bit ugly, but user interface that allows us to 
perform almost 80% of the functionality that you would expect from any kind of user interface application. Take input, provide output, and interact. The output is actually not visible since there is nothing to output at this point. Right, so we want to be able to interact. Let's say button set on action. This is the bit of code that will be called when the button is pressed. So for this simple tutorial, what we're going to do is take the data from the text field and then show it to the text output. Actually, it might make more sense if I rename this to output and that to input. In which case, output set text, input get text on button press. So I type hello world in my input box. I press this button and I get the text on the output um, object, which is what we wanted to do in the first place. So this is the basic stuff that you can do with input, output, and the A button. And just as an extension, we're going to just manipulate some fields uh, of these, or some properties of these objects. For example, you might want to create, uh, use a larger font, such as 18. You can do something very similar with the output object and indeed with the button object. So now you can see everything is much larger and we can say something like this still and everything is working as expected. Finally, as a sort of an advanced extension, if you will, what we can do because of JavaFX properties, which are out of the scope of this tutorial, you can actually bind the output text property to the input text property. In which case, this button is no longer relevant. Whatever happens in the input text field is automatically outputted to the output object. For example, hello world, and you get real nice effect of mirroring whatever the text is in the input box uh, and the mirroring happens by the output box. Okay, so in this tutorial we've made a very basic um, JavaFX application containing the three UI objects. In particular they are text field, text, and button. Hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial and I'm hoping this was helpful. Thanks for watching.